you know, to some of those people who actually know me in person or know me via various avenues like social media, for those people who say, you don't practice what you preach and that you're full of shit because what you say in your videos isn't the same as what we see in everyday life, my response to that is, I'm just trying my best. And if that's not good enough for you, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm just trying to help. I am not perfect in any way, and I'm not always able to stick to the stuff that I say. But one thing is, I'm not pretending, I'm not bullshitting, I'm not flexing, I'm not telling you how great my life is. I'm just saying that if you do a few of the things that I say, maybe your life will be a little bit better than it is right now. This is Chai Tea V, episode 6. Welcome to the show. My name is Derek and I'm the host as usual. And if I'm moving around funny and I'm sitting in a funny position, that's because I am. Because I'm just trying to ice my foot because it's a little bit sore. So I wanted just to check in here on this fine Sunday morning and have a quick chat to you about what's been happening in terms of the responses that I've been receiving from some of my videos. Sorry, I just had to change my battery on my camera for a minute. But for those of you who have been following me on my channel for a while, you would have noticed that for the last couple of months, I've been releasing these Wednesday morning motivational 60 second YouTube shorts. Not only can you see them on YouTube, but you can also see them on my Instagram and also on LinkedIn and TikTok. I just wanted to talk about some of the comments I've received regarding these videos. So first of all, I just want to thank you guys because you guys have really embraced this format that I've made. I've received a lot of comments about how people say that it's kind of the stuff that they needed to hear to help them take the next step in their life. But I just want to talk about the other side, some of the negative comments that I've received. And I'm okay with that. This is not a whinge about the comments because I appreciate every single comment. I'm not upset at any of the comments. I'm not annoyed at them. I take every comment that I receive and I consider them appropriately and decide whether there is merit in these comments before I respond to them. And that's how I've responded to every comment in every video that I've ever made. It's not just the motivational ones, but it's been all the videos that I've ever made. I've never wanted to spit hate on anybody, no matter what the comment is, because one of the things about life is that we don't realize is context. We do not have the context of anybody else's position. And we often we don't know where people are coming from when they make these comments. So let me start by saying it's okay. And I love whatever comments you make, whether they're positive or negative. It helps me improve my channel. And more importantly, it helps me get to know you guys and it lets me know what kind of videos you guys want from me. So it's all good from me. So having said that, let's just quickly move on to the reason I made this video. Well, first of all, let me just say, life hasn't been easy. Life isn't easy for anybody. So even if we pretend for a second that COVID never happened, life still deals every one of us. List of never ending problems. And if you're alive, you're gonna have problems. The only way that we're gonna make ourselves happy, and after all, I think that this is the whole reason I made all these motivational videos. And I don't even know if they're motivational videos, they're just videos where I just say something which hopefully resonates with you guys and makes some sense and helps you to make the decision to make tiny little changes in your life which might just bring a little bit more happiness because happiness has to be the ultimate goal in life. It beats anything else. It beats money. It beats stuff. It beats trips. It beats nice food, nice cars, nice houses. The actual concept of happiness has to be what we're aiming for. So every single one of us here has a very different definition of what we think happiness is. True, some people do feel that having lots of stuff makes them happy, but I bet you ultimately when it comes down to it, when it gets to the end and we evaluate what's happened in our life, I don't think that having a bank account with seven figures is the only thing that has mattered over the course of the decades. And this is exactly the point of these videos. It is somehow hopefully to bring you out of your situation where you feel like there is no hope, where there's no chance that you're going to be able to be better than you are. Realistically, yes, we are all at different levels. We all have different contests. We all have different problems. And some of our problems are much bigger than other people, but that's also a perspective thing. What's important to one person is not necessarily important to the other person. We all have different life goals, but the ultimate aim for all of us, I'm sure, is feeling happy, feeling at peace, feeling like there's a reason why we wake up every morning and it's just not to do the basic stuff that we need to do that we can pay the bills because that's not a life, that's a job. So some of the comments I've noticed is that people are saying like, yeah, you're full of shit. It's really easy for you to say because you're obviously loaded. Well, hello, just let me start by saying that I'm not. And it's like, you don't know my situation. And yes, that's also true. I don't know your situation. People write stuff like, you know, we come from really humble backgrounds. We've had all this adversity, you know, 
people who are important to them have died and all that stuff. And look, that stuff is undeniably and unbelievably difficult. But you have to overcome these things if you've got any hope of being happy. I know that all this bad shit has happened to you. It's happened to all of us in certain ways. Ultimately, the bottom line is we have to move on. And for those people who are saying, yeah, it's easy for you to say, well, it's not easy for me to say in some ways. I can't think of a time when there has been more adversity in my personal life than there has been in the last three or four years. I'm not going to go into all these personal details because it doesn't matter. My problems is irrelevant to you. But all I want to say to you is I'm not perfect either. And this is the reason why I made this video. When people post in my comments that they're having a lot of trouble, they've got a lot of stress, they have a lot of pain. Well, I want to respond by saying that I have that too. My life is far from perfect. Nobody's life, I believe, is perfect. And I'm just trying to do what I need to do to try and fix those problems and try and make tomorrow better than it is today. And yes, releasing the videos, I am first to admit that I'm not 100% able to stick to the advice that I'm posting here on this channel. We all have bad days. We all have shit that is so overwhelming that sometimes we lapse into our bad habits. Yes, it's very easy to say, don't worry. Things could be worse. It's very easy to say, everyone else has it worse than you. It's all that kind of shit. But you know what? When you're thick in the middle of that situation, it doesn't feel like that. And I know because I've been in that situation too. And for the people who tell me to my face even that I'm full of shit, that the stuff that you say isn't what you're practicing. So I am not preaching what I'm practicing. Well, I only have one response to that. And that is I am trying my hardest. I am trying my hardest. And some days it's easier than others. Some days I'm all over it. Some days I'm positive, the energy's there and I'm just ready to go kick some ass. But some days I'm flat. I feel like everything's overwhelming. And yes, I try to tell myself that things aren't as bad as they seem, that people are worse, yada, yada, yada. Everything that I've tried to spit out in these Wednesday morning videos. But sometimes I can't do it either. But that doesn't mean I can't try. And that doesn't mean I can't try to help you guys by giving you another perspective. And sometimes all you need to do is to hear the same thing more than once from someone else. And maybe that'll trigger something in you that's going to make you make the change. And sometimes you just need to hear it repeatedly. Sometimes whether it's just luck of the situation or sometimes you're just in the mood. Sometimes it may just be that moment that the stuff I say sinks in and it's the piece of chat that gets you to start moving your life in the direction that you want it to be. And that's all I've ever wanted from these videos. I've never ever once pretended that I'm perfect. I've never said that if you don't stick to this advice 100% of the time, then you're a loser. Because it's physically impossible because then I'd be calling myself a loser because I can't stick to this advice all of the time either. But you know what? I'm trying. In one of my last videos, you would have heard me say that the flower that blooms in adversity is the rarest and the most beautiful of all. And that's actually absolutely true. Everyone can be happy. Everyone can be joyous. Everyone can be positive when everything's going well. But what are you going to do when his back is against the wall, when the shit hitting the fan, when everything feels like it's falling apart, that's when the real you needs to come out. That's when the real you needs to emerge. And that's when the real you needs to make the decision that no matter how bad this situation is, I'm going to do my best to get myself out the best way I know how. There is no playbook in life that tells you how to deal with every single situation that you encounter. There's just stuff that you don't expect to happen. People get sick. You lose your job unexpectedly. You get in a car accident, totally unpredictable, and your life gets turned upside down in a matter of seconds. There is no manual for that. You just have to do the best you can. And I'm just trying to help with these videos that just to let you know that you're not alone, that there are other people who feel exactly the same way. And this is why it is important to have community. Now this community can be from your family and your friends, but it doesn't even have to be. It just has to be a group of like-minded people who do not judge, who are empathetic, who share the understanding that your situation is tough, even though they may not be able to provide you with a solution, but it's a fact that they're there to listen. And this is the whole reason why I make these videos. And you know what? Once you realize that bad stuff doesn't just happen to you and happens to everybody else, it gives you a different way of looking at things. It starts you on the process of instead of focusing on the problem, you may begin to actually start looking for solutions. It's very easy just to sit here, throw a pity party for yourself, say everything's crap, everything's fucked, no one's going to help me, but that doesn't really get you anywhere. We all know this, complaining gets you this far when it comes to solving your problem. So instead of spending all your energy telling everybody 
how everything sucks and how bad everything is, it is probably better for you to focus your energy on trying to think of solutions of how to fix the problems in the first place. So just remember, life sometimes sucks, but there are lots of times when it doesn't. And these are the times that we have to just get things into perspective and work out what is really important for us, what makes us happy. And sometimes we need that time for us to recharge so that we're ready to handle all the other difficult problems and they will always arise. No matter what, you're never gonna be able to free yourself from problems. If you think you're gonna have a day where you have no problems, that's never gonna happen. The only time that you're gonna have no further problems is when you're dead. So our job is to strengthen our muscles, our problem-solving muscles. So when the next problem arises and the one after that and the one after that, we have the skills, the expertise, the experience, the knowledge to handle these problems the best way we know how. And the only way that we're going to improve our problem-solving skills is to attack the problem and try and figure out a solution. Even if we get it wrong, we learn something and we get better at it the next time. Just like everything else, just like when you learn your math. If you get a question wrong, you work out how you got it wrong, you go through, you reverse engineer the answer or the question, and next time when you see the same problem, easy, right? One thing I didn't want for these Wednesday morning videos is I don't want people to think that this is all just superficial, that I'm just saying stuff in order just to show that there is a simple solution when the solution isn't that simple. Also, I didn't want people to think that I've got this all under control and that I have no issues in life either because that's far from the truth. I want to be a cheerleader, but I also don't want to be a cheerleader. I don't want to be one who just turns everything into fairies and unicorns and everything's magically going to work out. All this stuff requires hard work, hard emotional decisions. So the thing that I hate hearing is when people give up. They say, it's too hard. I don't have the money. I don't have the background. I don't have the experience. I don't have the time. I don't have the training. Ah, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. I just can't handle it when people make excuses for why they can't try to change what they're doing. Perhaps we are thinking or aiming for the wrong things. Perhaps we just need to tweak our perspective a little bit. Perhaps we just need to change our expectations, not necessarily lower our expectations, but maybe change our expectations and change what we think we want. Because what we think we want is sometimes what we think other people think we want. And that's the worst thing to do is when you do stuff trying to please others because the only person you're pleasing is nobody. So I really hope that you guys are enjoying these Wednesday morning videos. Let me know in the comments below how I can help. I just want to tell you that you guys are not alone, that nobody's perfect. And when you think that life sucks, it sucks sometimes for everyone else too. So thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support. This has been episode six of Chai Tea V. I look forward to seeing you again in a future video. Remember to leave me a thumbs up, comment down below. And that's the most important thing. I'd rather you leave a comment below and I feel that is more valuable than even your subscription, although I do appreciate you subscribing to this channel. But the fact that we can communicate, the fact that we can engage with each other and talk about things and hopefully find solutions to our problems, I find that to be much more worthwhile even than a subscription. So until next time, have a great Sunday. I'll catch you next time in another video. See ya.